internet welcome to oxford here today we're starting a three by two garden studio today is the base we're using a concrete pad foundation with insulated panels pretty simple one to start with as this has got a hard standing base already we've marked out the base using a simple frame that we've squared up measuring diagonally across the corners We've worked out the uh, sizes of our panels and then we are going to support each panel on the join and then one metre front to back. We've added an extra pile just to support the main opening of the door where the high traffic area is. As we've been marking out the pads, we've also chucked a level over the base and highlighted the highest part of the base. This is where we will start the first pad from. Just use a simple boat level there, just to level off both ways, so we know the pad is perfectly level. And then across both piles, we're just using a longer level to level off all the way round. Right, as you can see now, we've got all the outer edge piles done. What we've been doing, I was leveling it with the boat level, making sure it's level all the way round, and then leveling it with the long level on each pile, twisting the level around each time you move it, just in case you're that one, one mil out, you can then raise it up. So now we have all the intermediate ones done. This is a quick system to lay everything that you see here. It's probably taking me anywhere between 45 to an hour. Prep time was probably again an hour. And as you can see, it's ready for the insulated panels now. So here we have now the first two insulated panels going in, as you can see, just sat on the piles, just on the joints and the extra one for the door there. The insulated panels are in. So they're just sat on the uh, pads that we uh, concreted in earlier. And uh, the pads are just sat underneath the uh, joints. And like I said, if the panels aren't quite level, a little bit of packing up with uh, some composite material might be needed. The next stage of this base will be to wrap all the edges up in metal. One, to protect the foam and two, to give it a 90 degree angle on there so there's no danger in compression. So we've just wrapped round all the edges of the panels in a uh, 90 degree bend metal flashing, like I said, to protect the edges and create that uh, 90 degree bend so there's no danger of the walls crushing the edges of the panels. So along the front of the base here we've just added a line of timber which will take the front wall and give a good fixing for the door opening which we've made a little bit smaller so there will be a smaller threshold uh, once you step inside. And once again We've just covered the front of that in a metal flashing to protect the front edge. As you can see, we just screwed everything up with these flat headed screws, just so there's nothing protruding that will make the any of the walls unlevel. Well, that's it for this video. Follow us back down to the workshop where we'll be making the pre-made panels. Take care of yourself on site, look after yourself, and make sure you're nice to each other. Back to you, Patricia.